Well, I read in your in your post game uh, in in your write up uh, in today's L.A. Times, Tanya Ganguly here on the Rich Eisen show. I mean, you you quoted Kuzma basically saying, "Hey, you got to tip your cap. This guy. I mean, he is so out of his skull right now, and that's the thing for the Lakers. They're having trouble making shots when they need it. That yes, LeBron is finding people wide open, and he's. I mean, what a stat line! It's it is actually literally unprecedented his stat line last night. And you've got an unconscious player right now, unconscious, who clearly is very comfortable in the bubble. And I, I would ask the poll question of Tanya, please. Uh, go for it, Chris Brockman. Yeah, Tanya, which one seed uh, should be panicking the most, the Bucks, the Lakers, both or neither? What do you think? Hmm. I mean, the Bucks haven't looked good in the bubble either. Um but I, I guess I would say the Lakers because I, this, the way that they played last night is how they've been playing in the bubble. So it's like until you see that that's going to change, and, you know, they're confident it will, but until you see that that's going to change, you don't know that it will. Is Rondo um, anywhere in the And they're future? facing a better team. They that's are. the other thing. They're facing a better team. The Magic are, you know, the Magic, you, I, I don't think they really have home court advantage even though they're in their home market right now. Like, the Trailblazers are not an, an eight. I mean, it's like cliche at this point to say it, but they are not an eight seed. What about Rondo and anybody else? J.R. Smith, Waiters, just is Vogel going to start pressing a ton of buttons or just in rotation we trust? What do you think? No, he. I mean, Rondo is Rondo is close to coming back. He had a he broke his thumb and he just got back into the bubble a couple of days ago, or he just got back out of quarantine a couple of days ago. Um, so he they they want they want to play him when he's back. Um, I keep getting reminded by like Laker fans really don't like Rondo. It seems um, so. Um, like there's if- mixed emotions about that, but uh, <laughs> but they. They really rely on him to be a settling, a settling presence. Um, that's that's really important for them. They feel like so, um, you know that'll that'll happen. I could I can see Dion getting some minutes too. Um, so I don't think that what you saw last night is is like the end. You know the end of the story with uh, how they're going to use their rotation. Okay. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 